How's it going, guys? So, um, here's the first video of Ezra Knows Everything. I don't really know everything, but, um, I'll give you a review of pretty much everything or everything around your life. First up, uh, we're going to start off with something that everyone, everyone pretty much knows, and it comes down to your humble lighter. I know I do kind of sound like I'm in a bathtub at the moment. It's just coming down to my speaker, and I look forward to getting a new one. Soon. So, first of all, we're going to start out with your normal everyday thick lighter. I like to have a white lighter, uh, mainly because a white lighter lets you see when it's going low. Um, not many people know, but big lighters are actually refillable. You can use the normal, uh, normal, uh, Zippo kind of style lighter, or the pressurized style, to, uh, refill a normal big lighter. Big lighters are made in France. They're probably mo one of the most stolen objects in, uh, the world. And also along with the pen, big also makes uh, just lighters and pens. That's that's as far as I know. Um, so the way they uh, worked, what happens is you strike with your thumb down on the actual rotating barrel. That rotating barrel goes onto a flint. I don't know if you can see that very good. But that is actually a flint out of a big lighter. And what happens when the big lighter, when it strikes the flint, it makes a spark. Now, when you strike the flint down, you also push down the gas release. The gas release, as most of you already know, the gas release is what makes the actual water burn. So all you're doing is providing a spark and a gas release. They also have a child lock. A lot of people uh, take that off. Pair of scissors. Uh, so that's pretty much one of the most normal lighters you're going to see. Um, big lighters also come in different colours. Um, this one's actually a working one. So that's it. That's a good demonstration of the flame. First off. Uh, now, uh, a few years back, or a fair few years back, Vic actually came out with a mini. So you have your regular lighter and you have your mini. So a, a lot smaller, um, probably holds about about half or so. But the mini lighter, as you can see, I have taken the safety off this one. So very easy to light and very cool lighter. Now me personally, I don't really like using the small big lighters. If any preference, I will use a a white big lighter. Whoa, a white big lighter. Bear with me. It is my first video. So yeah, Ezra does know everything. Now, one of the more cool things that uh, Vic have came up with, I don't know if it's collaboration between uh, different companies or but Vic have actually came up with branded lighter holders. You can get them in a few designs, a few different colours. They're made of rubberized. Uh, they got a rubberized outing and then plastic, probably the same plastic that the actual Vic lighters are made out of and your mini lighter will actually go into this big lighter holder and you can fly away. 
I do have a lot of lighters that don't work, so don't worry. So, so now I'm showing you the big lighters, and um, most people know know most of them, but I do have a couple of other different lighters with me. Um, one of the first ones I'm going to show you is a Cricut lighter, Cricut brand. Um, this one's actually by Free Choice Liquor Stores. Endorsed it. Now, Cricut brand, pretty similar, pretty very similar to the Big Lotter, but these have an integrated uh, safety catch, so you can't actually take the safety catch off. And also, uh, uh, it's quite neat, a little rubberized grip for when you when you strike to strike down with your thumb, you do have a rubberized grip. No kind of uh, you know adjustment like the Big Lotter, no kind of adjustment to uh, you know to adjust the volume of the flame but um quite a comfortable lot of the use yeah you know everyone's everyone's asking for a lot this is actually one of the more comfortable lotters to use one of the only gripes or actually real annoyance with this uh, this lighter or this uh, kind of lighter um, oh, I will mention it does have a cool little uh, C for cricket on the back in the heat guard. It's pretty cool. Um, one little gripe with this, it does make like it makes a huge flame. Like when you first light it, I say, holy, like seriously, dude, don't burn my face off. Like <laughs> that kind of style. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, really comfortable lot to use. Kind of a bit slimmer in uh, design. Like it's not as fat as you get old, uh, you get old big lighters. But um, yeah, I've I've actually had this lighter for ooh, been on a year and a half. It hasn't hasn't run out. Still sounds like it's got plenty more, and it is refillable, like the big lighters, uh, given you've got the certain nozzle and also the pressure off the tank. And uh, another one, another one. So we've covered the big, the big mini, uh, the big with the cover, and also the cricket. So and um, one we're gonna, you probably pick this up about a dollar at the at the uh, the servo or whatever. Rhino, everyone knows their Rhino lighter. Some people prefer these because they do have the adjustment on the back for your flame, how much flame you want. Um, I will demonstrate that in a little sec, but these are very much a rudimentary lighter, um, very similar design to the big. Pretty much a lighter is the same design. They've got their pickup, their reservoir, the striker, and also your tap, which regulates your flow of gas out of the reservoir. This is a cool lighter because most of uh, the Rhino lighters, uh, they're quite clear, so you can actually see what's going on inside them. Um, all your warnings and all that kind of thing, as with all lighters, don't play with them if you're a kitty. Should have said that at the start of the video, but pretty much Ezra knows everything, so don't play with lighters, kids. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is quite a cool lighter because you can actually regulate how, how big the flame, <laughs> like it's, it's like a, almost like a mini blowtorch. It, it's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, a Rhino lighter, they're quite cheap, but they're pretty cool. Even more so if you just want to turn it up on your mains and just go, wow. I'll just blow your face off. So, with a rhino lighter, always, always start a bit low. If you want a flame going, if it's not a big signal situation, a flame is a flame. Give it enough uh, oxygen and it will light up anything. So, just on low, that's all you need with the girl cricket lighters. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a rundown on that. This one is getting a 
bit old. It's got a little bit of rust spots on the sides and that kind of thing. And another, another lighter would probably have six months or so. So your big lighters, because I prefer them, I do go through a lot, well, a lot more of them than any other lighter. And, uh, another one, an honourable mention, is Stay with me. The good old barbecue lighter. Now, many people discount this for just being like a little bit of a tool, but they are a good thing for getting a fire starter. They are class as a lighter. So, and also, like a roto lighter, they have a, a adjustable flame, also refillable. A lot of people think that a normal regular lighter is just a throwaway item, but it is actually refillable. Do yourself a favour, save the environment, save from plastic, and refill your lighter. And it's it's easy as just just go down to Bunnings or wherever or you know might attend local hardware store and just refill your lighter, and you will save yourself. You will have the same lighter seriously for like a number of years. They the flint lasts that long. Everything lasts that long. Just refill your lighter rather than just buying a new one. Cool. Um, and these are awesome for getting in. Yeah, D definitely kind of thing that you want to have just lying around. If you've got a gas stove, even more so. Don't worry about matches when you're lighting up your barbecue. Just grab one of these fellas. Always good to have. Um, that pretty much wraps it up. There are always your other fire lighting uh, alternatives, like your uh, different kind of uh, your tinders, rub two sticks together, everyone knows that, but you'd be there for about three or four hours. Um, probably the best survival situation, not including a flame with gas, is some kind of strike stick or flint. So you can strike that with a, your survival knife. Since you're out in the bush, you obviously got your survival knife, knife with you. But you don't have your matches or your lighter, which I should also say is also an awesome thing to have in any kind of survival pack. But strike your flint, and definitely that is a good way to light a fire. If uh, any, anyone's got any suggestions on what Ezra knows everything next, just give it a shoot in the comments, but um, definitely have a good day, and um, be up with more videos. Cheers, guys.